Greetings and welcome back to EdTech Moment, where we take just a moment to help you integrate technology into your classroom. I'm your host, Tim King. I've always taught my students that presentation slides shouldn't contain all your content, but rather give context or visual imagery that supports what you're talking about in your presentation. Today we're going to take a look at an online presentation tool that really lets you put your information in context. This is episode 17, and today I'm going to introduce you to Prezi at Prezi.com. Instead of giving you individual slides to work through, like most presentation software, Prezi gives you one unified canvas for you to lay out all your information. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got a presentation about Web 2.0 tools, and you can see that I've got all my information laid out on this canvas. And you can zoom out and see the big picture view. Okay. And the nice thing about Prezi is that it lets me organize visually, because remember, a presentation is supposed to be a visuals that support what you're talking about in your presentation, not replacing the content of your presentation. So here I can lay out all the information that I want to cover visually. I can organize it in ways that make sense in the big picture. I can also, you can see that I've got frames and I've got arrows. I can put in pictures. And the nice thing is that I can lay this all out, get everything organized, and then I can set it up to zoom in. And the idea with Prezi here is that we can organize things visually. We can make something bigger if it's more important, smaller if it's less important. We can group things together based on how they are organized in the presentation. I'll show you how to start building your own Prezi's in another episode, but right now I want to go through some of the features and see what it looks like when you view a Prezi presentation. So let me go down here and click on the play button. And so this is how my presentation would begin. And again, as I go through my presentation, instead of going from slide to slide, I'm simply moving around within my canvas to make my points, zoom in to show, uh, zoom in to focus on specific information. Okay, I can add graphics. I can zoom out to see the big picture or to see how the various pieces of information fit in context with each other, which is incredibly valuable when making a presentation. In addition to text, I can also add in bulleted lists like we like to do in PowerPoint, but I can also put in audio media. Like a podcast. I can also put in video. Uh, add a like a screencast presentation. Touch to so this, all the same kind of things that I could do with a PowerPoint or with Keynote, I can also embed those into Prezi but giving me the extra power, not only of presenting online, remember this is an online tool, so I don't have to have this saved on my computer, I can just log into Prezi.com and give my presentation, but it also lets me put all this rich media content in a visual context. I can show another video. Staffers at Woodland Park. And then move on to my next point. And the, again, the power is, usually when I build a presentation like this, at some point towards the end, I want to zoom back out and see the big picture. Remember, the real strength of having a visual presentation is to put your information in context or give visual support. Prezi does an awesome job. So the next step for you is to come to Prezi.com and get started by signing up for your own account. If I click over here on pricing, you'll see that there are three pricing structures, but you may also notice that up in the upper right hand corner, there's a button that says students and teachers. And if you have an education-based email address that you can uh, log in with, then you can actually get the Enjoy package for free or the Pro package for only $59 a year. So make sure you click on that button to sign up for uh, one of the educator packages if you have an educator email address that you can sign in with. So go ahead and sign up for Prezi and start playing with it, or just look at some of the samples that they have on their website. And in our next episode, I'll get in and get more detailed on how you can start building your own Prezi. Thank you for visiting edtechmoment.com. Be sure to subscribe to our RSS feed and iTunes so you can be updated whenever new episodes are available. Also, you can email feedback at edtechmoment.com if you have any questions or comments. In future episodes, we're hoping to start putting out some question and answer episodes. So send in your questions so that they can be answered on one of our special episodes. You can also follow us at edtechmoment.com and now at Stitcher Smart Radio. With the Stitcher app on your Android or iOS device, you can get an audio version of EdTech Moment anywhere you are. And as always, thanks for taking a moment.